The opportunities are there in terms of being able to get signal from noise for large brand-based buys. So how do you prove the efficacy of running on live sports or scaled CTV or other environments, as well as personalization that really makes sense. So personalization where there's relevancy is good in theory, but not always in practice. So for example, the right ad in the wrong environment, it can be something that just doesn't work, but personalization theory is a great way to reach your target audience. And I think it's also a way for marketers to eliminate waste and for media owners and marketers to develop first party direct relationships with their consumers. And so I think that's really a big opportunity. I, I think the lesser of the opportunity is personalization to the point where it's you know just invasive or doesn't take into account people's privacy issues or anything else that they wanna you know, highlight. I think that's something that doesn't work well. I think a brand that eliminates their larger marketing budget to build their brand and build new consumers. I think that's something that doesn't work well. So I think what the biggest opportunity is being on top of kind of what, what am I trying to drive in terms of brand effectiveness? And what am I trying to do in terms of my marketing campaign, in terms of advertising to users, whether they're on linear TV or CTV, radio or podcast social platforms or the open digital web. So I think those are really the opportunities in the space. What are your thoughts about buying media in an addressable way? What does that mean and where is it going? So to buy media in an addressable way is to reach your target audience based off of your own data or a client's or a media owner's first party data. And I don't think it's going away. I, I think it's just getting refined. If you look at where social platform CPMs have gone up, or you know, platforms that are like large retailer sites, they're going up because the ads perform, whether they're addressable or not. So I really view addressable being a function of performance for a brand and people are paying higher CPMs. They're not talking about whether the ad was addressable or not, or whether this was on an iOS or Android device or a Chrome browser, or Safari browser. What they're really talking about is, was this an effective way of marketing? for near-term results and long-term brand building. So I really think that addressability will be a function of real-time performance and ad efficacy, more so than I'm an addressable user or I'm a non-addressable user. A lot of media is not addressable. Uh, we're losing certain data points around it, yet there's um, a real need to be efficient, to have higher yield. Um, how is the industry going to reach higher efficiency uh, while it's losing certain signals um, and, and, and amongst privacy concerns? Um, how is that going to evolve? Well, I, I think the first thing for every brand and every type of partner out there is to be ahead of your consumers or your customers' privacy concerns. I think that's really mission critical. And I think how it evolves is there's different ways for different players in the ecosystem to make money, as well as just pointing back to attribution. I mean, if you look at companies like Uber or Instacart setting up their own ad platforms, they're doing this despite all the privacy concerns and the changing ecosystem because they're able to show attribution from their media platform and data to a result for a marketer. So I think it really just comes back to how do we measure efficacy and how do we attribute results? I think we are gonna see platforms like Instacart and others be able to set up successful ad platforms because they're able to attribute this user went on my platform and I bought X product. I think you're gonna see the same thing happen in other forms of media and privacy becoming, I would say more strict it just shows that there needs to be a way for other people to reach results for advertising and reaching consumers. So privacy, I believe, is only going in one direction, which is being more transparent and more strict with consumers, as you see through ATT and a Chrome browser eliminating cookies. But I think the needs out there and the opportunities are still the same. It's just showing that this media, either with data targeting or with a large audience or with the right context, drove an effective result for a marketer. So it really comes back to attribution, measurement, and effectiveness to be the opportunity to take greater share in the shifting data landscape. 
Charlie, so um, just I wanted to ask about your career and joining EDO and sort of uh, that's pretty exciting. Tell us a little bit why you made that move and what you hope to accomplish at EDO. So the, the thing I really want to accomplish at EDO is I see a lot of similarities in television today as what was happening when I started in digital back in the mid 2000s or 2010s, where there's a lot of people kind of looking for how does this marketplace evolve? You have a shifting way of people consuming media. When I did it in the 2000s, it was a newspaper to a digital website. Today, that is linear TV to convergent TV. And I think the common thing that both of those marketplaces needed to grow was effective currency and effective measurement. And EDO was the only company I was really talking to that was showing an effective way to reach a real-time signal of whether or not a TV ad was effective. Basically being able to measure linear television the same way you measure a digital campaign. And for me, that was very exciting. And it was something that was differentiated from the companies I had worked with previously, both at AT AT&T and other previous roles. So I hopped on board because they were in a unique position to do this. And I saw a lot of runway to be able to expand on that. And that's been, definitely come true since I've started the company. We've launched recent partnerships with Xander. Uh, Going into Q4, you're going to see a lot more partnerships with brands and media owners get announced, as well as more partnerships in the ad outcome space and how we can take large unstructured data sets and create signal from noise from either large television campaigns or convergent television campaigns. So I hopped on because I think this is going in the same direction as digital. I think EDO is in a good position to solve the industry's problems.